Several years ago, I called Elvis out to come fight me. Yes, I did. To come kick my ass is what I said. Um, and he turned it into something different. All I did was prove he was a pussy. I knew he would never show up. I knew he was a coward. I just wanted to prove it to everybody. And I succeeded at doing that. But boy, did it cause him a lot of butt hurt, And he had to lie his way out out of it and failed he sure did he lied and tried to make it sound like he was in danger because he didn't want everybody to know he was a coward in real life but he is and i proved it so let's roll this bean footage Well, Elvis, Marshall, Zaya, Marshall, um, you're telling her, telling Tasha to come to Atlanta because you know she doesn't have means to get there um, at the moment, anyway. And um, but you're in Atlanta, and so am I. So I asked Tasha if I could stand in for her. And she said yes. So here's the, how it goes down. You go around calling people a pussy. Well, I am in near the Atlanta metro area in a town called Dallas. And there happens to be only one Walmart in that Dallas town. Tomorrow is Sunday and the day after that's Monday. That gives you plenty of time to come and give me a good old fashioned ass kicking. Because you're such a badass. You're an alpha male. So, you know, use your Google Maps, find out where the Walmart is in Dallas, Georgia. You you find out where it is and drive up there. You got two dates. There's no excuse why you couldn't make it there. You're in the Atlanta area, so you show up to that Walmart, and I know you sleep during the day, so I can go knock on your, like you told her to go knock on your uh, van. I'll, I'll, if you park there, I'll knock on your van, and you can come out and kick my ass, because I really could use a good ass kicking. What do you think? I could use a good ass kicking. I'll be very honest with you. So if I'm standing in for Tasha, um, you come up here and kick my ass. If you're really an alpha male, you would. If you're really tough, if you're really the badass that you claim you are, come and kick my ass. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you were letting everybody on YouTube, the boy everywhere, know that Elvis Travels, Zaya Marshall Camus, is really a pussy. So either you meet, you come to that Walmart and you can film that you're there and that way everybody will know you showed up. Now I'm not going to be looking at Walmart every five seconds. I have a life. Unlike you, I don't live in a van down by the river. So, you know, you need to sit there all day. Just sleep there. You know, you sleep during the day. I can come look for you. Now, see, I work the rest of the week. I just got off work today. I worked uh, 11 and a half hours. I uh, worked 13 hours uh, yesterday. But today and tomorrow is my day off. So, working man to e-begging bum. Hey, and if you kick my ass, if you show up, I'll take all my videos about you down. There you go. Come kick my ass. I really need a good ass kicking. Please, Zaya, prove that you're the alpha male you claim to be and come kick my ass. But if you don't do it, then you're proving to me and everybody else that you're really just a pussy and all, all talk and no action. So are you going to let your alligator mouth, you know, 
get your hummingbird ass in trouble. I mean, I'm 20 years older than you. You should be able to kick my ass, a young buck like you. Huh? We're both about the same weight, so it's a fair fight. We don't have to fight in the Walmart parking lot because I don't want to deal with the police either. So we can go behind Walmart. There's some wooded areas right next to Walmart, right in front, kind of. The Walmart's kind of on a hill, and there's some wooded areas there. You can just kick my ass. Show everybody that you're really an alpha male. Or not show up and show everybody you're the pussy. Just a pussy in a tin can. Come kick my ass. Are you a pussy? Are you? Are you a pussy? <laughs>Well, the big news is, on Elvis Travels today is, um, there is an individual, which I'm not going to mention his name or his YouTube channel, but he's been in the community now for a few months. Um, this individual has, um, threatened my life, has been stalking me for the past, um, and since I came into Atlanta, Georgia. Well, let me tell you the update on what's going on here. <clears throat> this individual has been stalking and harassing me for a few months now. This individual is, uh, I believe, a resident of Paulding County. A town uh, called Dallas, Georgia, with, which is um, a little bit northwest of the Atlanta metropolitan area. <clears throat> this individual is a commercial uh, truck driver, uh, a man that is local to the area. He's shown himself on several videos. Uh, he's been harassing me uh, for months, for months with hate speech. He's been using my videos, my likeness, my photos, my voice without my express and written permission. He's been using my full legal name on his channel without my permission. Uh, he's been... Um, uh, harassing me for months and now um, this man made a video and uh, a couple of days ago stating that he wanted me to meet him at the Dallas Georgia Walmart he said that he would take time to come and meet me in person and to quote unquote to fight me because he says that I said that I was going to fight another individual and that he wants to fight me on behalf of another individual <coughs> now this person has said that he would look for me in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and that if he finds me, that he would confront me, that he would knock on the door of the Lisa Marie. Now, let's put two and two together here. This individual is most likely armed and dangerous because many people in the South have weapons. This individual is 20 years older than me. He's not an athlete. He doesn't seem to be particularly strong. Now, that's completely untrue. Why would he even say that? I can guarantee you I'm stronger than him. I can outwork him. I could work circles around that lazy bum. Who in the hell is he to say I'm not an athlete? I played football in high school. I played rugby after high school until I was almost 40 years old. So who in the hell is he to say? What the hell does he know? He's never done anything. What sport has he ever played? Much of an athlete. I'm more of an athlete than Elvis Travels ever was and ever will be. So what do people do when they get into a situation where they can't defend themselves? They're going to use mace, they're going to use a nightstick, a mag light, a taser, pepper spray, and even a weapon. Most likely this individual, by the way he talks and by the way he acts, uh, is armed and dangerous. Now, let's put two and two together. He's invited me to meet him outside of the Walmart parking lot in a wooded area without cameras. This man is most likely armed and dangerous. Now. Let's put two and two together. This man is a commercial driver and drives all over the Atlanta metropolitan area. Most likely this man is armed and dangerous. And he said he's actively looking for me. Doesn't care about what the outcome would be. He's even made a video driving to the Dallas, Georgia Walmart looking for me. If Elvis is here, Elvis travels. Come out and play Elvis travels. Come out and play. Elvis travels. Come out and play. <laughs> I don't see no Elvis travels. He scared of this place because he's there with just damage. He's broken many laws. So. 
I have no choice right now but to contact the local authorities of Dallas, Georgia, the Dallas, Georgia Police Department. I will be filing a police report and giving the Dallas, Georgia Police Department this individual's videos. <clears throat> I will be contacting Paulding County Sheriff's Department and making a report with them also. <clears throat> and um, I will possibly, if I have to stay in the Atlanta area for an extended period of time, if this weather doesn't warm up to go to Chicago, I will go to Paulding County Circuit Court and I will file a no contact order of protection in the Circuit Court of Paulding County in Georgia. I will go through all these steps. So right now, <clears throat> sir, I respectfully will ask you one time, you've got one chance, remove every video about me on your channel, which your whole channel is based upon me. You have 24 hours to remove every video about me on your channel. You have 24 hours to take down every video, essentially take your whole channel down. I'm giving you 24 hours. I will be contacting YouTube also. I'll be filing a complaint of harassment with YouTube. I will be flagging all the videos for copyright infringement, harassment, and bullying. You've got 24 hours to take all your videos down. YouTube is going to give you 48 hours. I'm giving you 24 hours. <clears throat> essentially to take your whole channel down tonight. I'm giving you 24 hours from what I'm talking right now. Otherwise, I will be taking legal action. I'm ready to drive to Paulding County. I'm ready to file my police report with the Dallas, Georgia Police Department. I'm ready to file my police report with the Paulding County Sheriffs. I'm ready to file an order of protection with the Circuit Court of Paulding County, with the Circuit Court judge, which you will have to come to court for. And with all the videos and evidence that I have, the massive videos that you have on your channel about me, it's an open and shut case. And if I get that order of protection, it will cover that order of protection for your information does cover cyberbullying and harassment online. So if I'm granted that order of protection in Paulding County, you cannot legally talk about me on the internet, on YouTube, or you will be facing, you will be served with a warrant for your arrest, and you will be facing misdemeanor and felony charges. I'm not playing any more games. You've got 24 hours. From this video right here. You could be facing criminal and misdemeanor charges coming up in Paulding County. And if I can't find out who you are, once I make my police report to the Paulding County Sheriff's Department, and the Dallas, Georgia Police Department. And even if I've got to hire a private investigator to find who you are, I'm going to find who you are. And you're going to have to come to court and you're going to be facing an order of protection in court. And that order of protection, for your information, covers that you physically do not come around me. And it also covers cyberbullying and harassment. I will make sure that the circuit court judge includes that in the order of protection because you're using your platform on YouTube to cyberbully and harass and threaten me and incite violence upon me. You've also broken laws... Because I'm a security officer, and I'm very well aware of these laws. You've also criminally trespassed on Walmart property in, in Dallas, Georgia, not for the purpose of patronizing that business or buying goods and services. You've illegally videotaped on private property without the permission of the owners of the property or the management at Walmart in Dallas, Georgia. You've also loitered on their premises and have used that, their premises to, to, to attempt to stalk and harass my location, a public figure and international celebrity. So the Dallas, Georgia Walmart is going to know about you. I'm going to share your channel and your video with them so that they can write up a criminal trespassing warrant for you for criminally trespassing at the Dallas, Georgia Walmart, not for the purpose of patronizing their business or buying business services, but for the purpose of stalking and harassing and threatening me. <clears throat> I'm also going to work with the Dallas, Georgia Walmart to uh, issue that um, criminal trespass uh, um, citation for you that if you ever were to go into the Dallas, Georgia Walmart, you will be arrested. I'm going to do that. I'm going to follow up with everything. You've got 24 hours. I'm not playing any more games. 24 hours. And I'm telling everybody that's watching this video right here and right now. I do everything by the book. Why? I'm a licensed commercial driver. I'm a licensed security officer in the states of Illinois and in Florida. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't go around threatening people. I don't go around stalking people. But I'm telling you right now. What you're doing... It's against the terms of service of YouTube, it's against the community guidelines of YouTube, and it's against the law. And I'm going to see that that law is enforced in real life. You've got 24 hours. I'm not playing any games. This isn't an act. This is real life. That's all I got to say about that. Welcome back to the rig. So yeah, I think the, uh, that guy just threw a bottle at me here. That was crazy. Did you see that? I'm gonna get that guy's license plate number. He just threw a bottle at me. <laughs>